The Steam Deck has been constantly improving for over a year at this point. Valve seems to have settled into a cadence of monthly stable updates with multiple beta updates each week, and it's been quite refreshing to see. But I miss the early days where new features were hitting the stable channel every week, and back then it felt like anything was possible, like my most wanted feature was right around the corner. Today though, the Steam Deck has settled into a more or less monthly update schedule aimed at stability and incremental improvements, so that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to explore some of the features that I think were still missing from the deck, and maybe we'll see them going forward. So here are 10 fixes and features that I'm still waiting for on the Steam Deck. Now, the first thing I'd like to see is a Steam Workshop for game mode. Look, I'm a huge fan of the community's efforts with Decky Loader. It's great, and there's a healthy, growing ecosystem of plugins for Decky Loader. It gives you the ability to install plugins and you can access them through the quick access menu. And every month, it seems they keep adding new features and new endpoints that plugins can connect to. They're all community made and it's an awesome tool, but it's also not perfect. And I've seen some instability and responsiveness, especially if you're in the beta or preview channels on the Steam Deck. Decky loader enabled in beta mode it can be a real problem. That's why I'd like to see an official first party plugin system. If Valve could deliver a plugin system that was integrated with, say, the Steam Workshop, that would be huge. It would mean that any enterprising individual would be able to make their own plugins and distribute them through Steam, and that would be an absolute killer feature. Now, I made a video a few weeks ago asking if we really need a SteamOS ISO, and you guys made several good points in the comments. My favorite was what an official ISO would mean for hardware vendors. I've got to agree with you there. I'd love to see the oft-promised official SteamOS ISO hit the internet, but it needs to be a stable, universal platform for gamers of all stripes, so having support for not just AMD, but also NVIDIA and even Intel, I think, is critical. Plus, having a slick installation and first-time setup is really important for end users to be able to install it on their own PCs. I'd love to know what you think about this. Would you install SteamOS on your own PC? Or maybe you would put it on a living room PC. Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, why not like that smash button? It's the best way to tell YouTube that you want to see more videos just like this. You can also check out my second channel, Gardner Bryant Shorts. There's a link on screen up here, probably. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the month, and with your help, we definitely can. I want to thank Glenn Steen for his continued support of the work that I'm doing here. It's because of Glenn and the other folks that support this show that I'm able to keep the lights on over here, and we have a lot of lights, so it's greatly appreciated. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you want to help support the show, get your name listed here like Glenn, use the links below to pledge your support, and thank you. One of my favorite things about the Steam Deck is how comfortable it is. It's such a well-designed input device. You know, besides the tired old standard dual thumbsticks, the face buttons, D-pad and triggers, it also has two extremely versatile and criminally underutilized trackpads, a gyroscope, a touchscreen, and four rear pro buttons. Now imagine if the Steam Deck were able to natively stream its inputs to any arbitrary machine. You could do it over USB or even over Wi-Fi, and you'd be able to play all kinds of titles on your desktop PC using the Steam Deck as a controller. And if Valve ever gets around to releasing a first party title that takes full advantage of the deck's unique inputs, then being able to play that game on your PC using the intended input hardware would be a major bonus. I'd love to be able to use my Steam Deck as an input device on my desktop PC. Now you can already kind of do this by streaming your game from your PC to your deck and enabling sound output on your PC, but it would be cool if you could just stream the inputs to your PC. Now the Steam Deck is great for many things. Playing games with your friends is one of them. We have built-in remote play together support where two or more people can play a local multiplayer game together over the internet. That's pretty awesome and it's an innovative way of connecting friends, but it takes a very specific style of gameplay to be able to accommodate that kind of connectivity. Plus, it requires an internet connection. What if you're on the road or at a convention and you want to meet up with fellow gamers who don't own a copy of the game that you want to play? Well, Nintendo solved this issue 20 years ago with the DS's download play. See, with download play, the DS would create an ad hoc wireless network, 
where other consoles could connect to the host device, and then the host would send over all the files necessary to play like a single level from a game. Everybody would then be able to play together on their own independent screens, and it was really awesome. The fact is, this is entirely possible on the Steam Deck, but it would require that Valve creates an API in Steam to accommodate this. Game developers would have to hook into this API. I mean, they'd have to opt their game in to download play, and they'd have to write their game to support it as well. However, I think it would be a worthwhile feature for them to add, and it would be really fun. Also, as a bonus pie in the sky idea, it would really be cool to have Street Pass on the deck, wouldn't it? Now, this next one would be pretty simple for Valve to add. Uh, the Steam Deck already has all the hardware needed to capture and stream gameplay footage in real time. We know this because Remote Play Together works super well on the deck, and it relies on this feature. So why not expand this ability? I want to be able to live stream directly from the quick access menu to YouTube. And I'm sure there, there are other folks who want to be able to stream to other sites as well. And while we're at it, they should also make recording gameplay easy as well. I would love to have the ability to save my last two minutes of gameplay, just like you can on the Switch or the PlayStation. That would be a feature I'd welcome on desktop as well. Okay, next up, have you ever tried connecting USB storage to your deck? I have, and it's not really an ideal experience. If your storage device isn't formatted with a Linux file system, then you have to manually format it and then add that storage device to Steam from the desktop client. We need a better way of doing this from game mode. Once you get everything set up just so, it works fine. But the process of setting up your storage device needs improvement. And speaking of files, uh, I've made videos in the past about how to set up file transfer between your PC and your Steam Deck, but Honestly, the majority of the solutions out there are not very beginner friendly. The most intuitive way to copy files between your PC and your deck doesn't actually work either. Uh, people might think that you can just pop your SD card out of your deck, connect it to your Windows PC and copy files to it. But that won't work because Windows can't read Linux file systems. So exasperated by technical nuances such as these, one might assume that they could just plug the deck directly into their PC using a USB-C cable and access the files that way. After all, that's how it works on Android phones. But again, that's not the case. The Steam Deck doesn't offer that kind of file transfer natively. But there's no reason that it couldn't support USB file transfer. I would love it if Valve could support either media transfer protocol or mounting the Steam Deck's SD card and internal file system to a host machine. That would just be fantastic. And it would make things so much easier for beginners. Next up, we need a first party game for the Steam Deck. And specifically, I'm talking about a game that takes advantage of the Steam Deck's unique input methods. Trackpads, motion, touchscreen, pro buttons. Think Aperture Desk Job, but a game rather than just a tech demo. And don't get me wrong, Aperture Desk Job was cool and all, but it was just a demo with some portal grade humor. It was also a huge freaking tease. I, I want a brand new portal game. Heck, I would even take a game built in the Portal 2 engine, even though it is showing its age. Just give us cool new mechanics that use the touchpad and the gyro, maybe even the touchscreen. It's time for Valve to push the industry forward. I mean, imagine the N64 controller, as revolutionary as it was, if Nintendo hadn't created Mario 64 to show the industry how to use a control stick and control a 3D character in 3D space, well then it would have taken ages for anyone to figure out how to actually use the control stick. Nintendo did it right, and Valve needs to do it right here as well. And look, we've heard rumblings about Neon Prime. And while that is exciting, I haven't heard anything about how it's going to work on the Steam Deck. Will it capitalize on the trackpads? I can only hope. Finally, one thing I really want to see is a compatibility tier that's actually above verified. Not only does the game need to look great and work well on deck, but it should take advantage of all of the features that the deck has to offer. The criteria that I've come up with for games that should be ranked higher than verified would be, first, the game needs to already be deck verified. The game must then implement the enhanced Steam Cloud Save feature on Suspend and Resume if applicable. It should have optimizations like custom TDP and frame rate profiles created by the developers. The title should have uh, default graphic settings that target rock solid performance at at least 40 FPS on the hardware. It should have a version of Proton that the developers have specified work great with the game. And finally, the game should have a special asset depot that is optimized for storage on deck. This would mean that the deck version only has the textures, meshes, and other assets that you need and nothing else. 
Now, I've talked about this in other videos, but an above verified rank could be called Steam Deck Platinum or Steam Deck Optimized or something like that. Essentially, having a Platinum or Optimized rank would mean that the game was specifically made by the developers for the Steam Deck. And I think that that's really important going forward. Well, those are the features I think are missing from the Steam Deck, but I would love to hear your thoughts. What would you like to see going forward? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I want to give a shout out to my friends on Patreon, my YouTube members, and our ViewSync Premium members who make what I do here a reality. If you believe in the work that I'm doing, you can use the links below to support the show. It's all greatly appreciated. That's going to do it for now, though. Thank you so much for spending your time with me here today, and I'll see you in the next one.